Hi friends, happy, happy day to you all. My name is Nikki. I am here to connect with you and share the many reasons why you need to be at convention. So convention is a place that and an experience that is so near and dear to my heart and thousands and thousands of others, and it's for a really good reason. So convention is a time and a place and a space to come and explore and be with so many other like-minded people. And I will just share with you that I have been going, this will be my ninth convention, and it is a time where I look forward to it. Like, I'm gonna just say it, it is my most favorite, most favorite event of the year. My most favorite event that Young Living puts on in general because of so many reasons. So, I wanna know if you guys are coming to convention, um, if you've ever been to convention, if this is your first time to convention, go ahead and place that in the comments below. Of course, I can't see the comments right now, but I'd love for other people to kind of see um, where, where everybody's kind of at. Convention is uh, in Mona, Utah. It is a beautiful, beautiful farm. So what normally happens is we all arrive and we stay in Salt Lake City and then we usually bus or drive ourselves out to the Mona farm. And that experience alone is everything. So I wanna just share a few tips with you. Um, and first off, just start by saying, friends, this experience is for everyone. Now, we have people that are customers that use and love their oils, and we have so many customers who come and are a part of this experience. And then we have people who are brand partners and people who are doing the business side, and they're there to explore and invest as far as in their knowledge and their growth and understanding. And so it, this experience is for every single person. And I, along with everyone else, we want you there. This is like, for me, this is a non-negotiable. I uh, personally run Young Living as my business. And for me, I can't imagine running a business and not being at the most important event of the year. Like that is a non-negotiable. Um, and there's a lot of sacrifices, you know, we are moms, we are, we may have full-time jobs. We may um, have people that we're taking care of. Um, so what I tell people is this, we know a year in advance the dates for the following year. Put it on your calendar, start budgeting for it and make it happen. If for some reason you can't go this time around, that is okay, there are virtual tickets. I would grab it and at least watch from home. But I will tell you, being at home on a virtual experience is nothing like being in person, okay? So let's dive in. I'm gonna give you some tips and then I'm gonna tell you some of the very reasons why you cannot miss this incredible experience, okay? This is Young Living's 30th anniversary. So I am really, really excited if you are brand new and you've never been to a convention before because you are going to get the best convention that they have ever delivered. And I have been told that over and over and over again. And we're gonna go over all of those many things that are changing, that are new. Um, so, and that's beautiful too, because if you've been or you've come twice, three, four, five times or more, sometimes you'll feel like, okay, do I need to go again? Are they gonna deliver the same stuff? And I will tell you, this is unlike anything that they have ever done before. Everything is basically a new experience for us and I love that and I'm excited for that and I'm here for it and I'm pumped for it. Ugh, I just want you there, I just want you there. Okay, so let me give you some of my very top tips. Um, I have done both ways. I've either driven, it's a nine hour drive for me. I just turn it into like a full day of fun and make some stops along the way. Um, one of my biggest and most exciting things this year is going to the creamery. Um, I've always wanted to go there. So I'm gonna drive this year 
Uh, but mostly every year I fly because it's such an easy flight. So driving, flying, um, just get yourself there. If you are driving, grab a whole bunch of friends and go together. That is the best part. Make a road trip out of it, a girl's trip out of it. That's the best part. Okay, second is make sure that you bring the most comfiest shoes ever. A lot of times, a lot of times we want to look cute, right? And a lot of times fashion precedes comfort. And I will just tell you in this case, bring comfortable shoes, or at least I always carry a pair of flip-flops in my bag so that during um, general sessions, maybe I'll have really cute shoes on and then I want to change those out because the feet don't lie, right? They are going to tell you when they are ready for a change. So definitely bring comfortable shoes. Third is general sessions are like a majority of the morning and you're going to be hungry. So bring a lot of snacks. Now, what I would suggest is whenever I get into Salt Lake City, I go to either Harmon's grocery store, which is right down the street, walking distance, or you can go to Whole Foods. There's some other grocery stores kind of on the outskirts. So you could take an Uber there, grab some groceries, bring them back to your room and have all the snacks that you need or fly with them or bring them on your road trip. But always have an abundance of snacks because you are going to be so hungry. And in the convention halls, they do have food and they do have options, but the lines usually are astronomical. And on top of it, it's really expensive. So I just say bring all your own stuff, have it in your bag. Um, Young Living always provides you with swag. That's like one of the best things ever. And they said this year, it is the best swag that they have ever given. And they love the bags that we're all getting. So Always know that too, like you are going to be given something that you can hold all of your stuff in. So biggest perk ever that you get that with your convention admission ticket. All right. Um, make sure that you hydrate. So have one of your flasks with you, your like your hydro flask or a Stanley or whatever you use to carry your water in, but make sure that you are constantly staying hydrated. We're at a very high elevation in Utah, which means you will get very dehydrated and a lot quicker than normal. And a lot of times people get uh, altitude sickness. And so I always encourage hydrate several days before you even come to convention. And then once you're there, make sure you're applying a lot of peppermint or having it just to kind of put in your hands and cupping and doing that like little scent tent so that you're constantly just keeping your body at a really well level. All right. Um, next is make sure that you register for everything that you want to do. So this year, Young Living is bringing it. They are allowing you to tailor your experience to what you need. So you are the only person that knows what you need, whether you are a customer and you are just loving and using these oils and wanting to soak up a lot of knowledge and understanding, wanting to visit the farm and to see the seed to sill process, or maybe you've been doing this business for a short time or a long time and you know the exact things that you need in order to grow your business or to re-energize your business. Um, so we want to make sure that you get in there and you are able to register for all the things that you want. Now that is going to open, I think in the next few days, they said, I think the second week of June, and you'll be able to go in for the next step of registration, which is being able to register for many different things that we're going to go over in a hot second. So make sure that you register for those things. Next is get a lot of rest, okay? As much as you can prior to coming, because when you get there... <laughs> You're going to be so exhausted. Like every year I'm like, I'll go to bed a little earlier. And you end up not because you end up running into people that you've only seen online and you want to get to know. You run into people on your team where you're like, oh my goodness, let's catch up. Let's go out to dinner. Let's go get some, some dessert. Let's go hang out and just catch up. And those nights end up being a little bit longer than we plan for. And so it's just important to make sure that you're really well rested. Um, especially before you come so that you're like in the best state when you get there. I would bring Ningja packets. There's going to be Ningja 
at a lot of different places, but the Ningxia Bar, um, if for some reason you can't get there, definitely bring some packets of Ningxia so that you always have them in your bags and are always like having them throughout the day. I also say like snag up that nitro and take one of those per day. That is filled with a lot of great nutrients and a lot of B vitamins and iron. And so nitro is a really great one to have on hand as well. And something I always have in my bag when I'm at convention. Uh, next is be open. So this is my biggest one for you. This is my biggest tip for you is Go into convention with no expectations and be open to saying yes to everything. The reason for that is that when we arrive, a lot of times we have no idea what to expect and opportunities kind of slap us in our face, right? They just kind of are like, hey, I am right here. There's an opportunity standing right in front of you and you need to take it and you need to go and you need to experience it. Whether that's getting together and like Miranda said, cheesecake nights. Um, last year we did like a dessert night with our team and it was just a really fun time to get together and just be open to um, hearing from other people and perspectives and what they're doing and kind of just gaining all of that insight from other people. Those are really fun nights. Um, be open to any parties that your uplines um, or friends are putting on. Go to those. Mingle. That is when you are going to meet so many new people. And I will tell you, I have met some of my closest friends at convention. It is literally like my heart. I'm on fire right now because I'm so excited that convention is just a month away. I am so excited to hug people that I've only seen online. I'm excited to meet new people. I'm excited to hug our team. I'm here for it all. Um, you'll also want to make sure for general sessions, get in line really early. That way, when the doors open, you have first priority. You have those first op opportunities to go in and pick the best seats. So definitely get in line early for general sessions so you guys have really, really good seats. A lot of times um, people's team members, uh, I believe it's Platinums and above, are able to get in a little bit early and save some seats. So hopefully that will work in your favor as well. Okay. Um, when it comes to food, if you have some favorite restaurants, definitely go and book those right now. I will tell you there are so many different restaurant opportunities or options out there that are close or just a really close taxi ride away. And one of my most favorite is Valter's uh, Osteria, Osteria, I don't know how, how to say it. It's right around the corner from convention. He was such a an incredible man and an incredible restaurant owner. Unfortunately, he passed away a couple of years ago, but he was so personable and he would come up to our table every single time. We visit his restaurant every single time we're at convention, if not multiple times, because the food is the absolute best, the absolute best. So if you have any favorite restaurants, if you'll place them in the comments, that way people will be able to kind of see where you love to go as well. All right, so coffee. There are local coffee places kind of like positioned all over the place. Um, you won't have a problem in that area if you drink coffee. Um, okay, I just want to make sure that I have hit everything on that side. Okay, so YL30 convention, that is this year. Everything is going to be draw, jaw dropping pure goodness. So they are bringing it. They are bringing all kinds of new things for us and keeping some really traditional things that we love. So YL30 is basically named that because it's the 30th anniversary. Young Living started their first farm in 1994 and They've been around longer than that, of course, because he's been dreaming and understanding plants and studying and all that, but they didn't launch their first farm until 1994. And so we get to celebrate. And I think it is so beautiful that we have the opportunity to come to the base 
of Young Living and go and visit headquarters and go and visit the farm and have our hands deep in the experiences that Gary and Mary Young have brought to us. You guys, I can't imagine life without Young Living. I just can't. I can't imagine like the last 10 years what my life would have looked like without these products. And to be in the heart, the actual heart of where Young Living started is the absolute best part, must have. You have to be here, friends. Like I, I cannot express enough why you need to be here. So this year, they are bringing some different things. Um, they are bringing um, something that's called a summer soiree party. That's basically for people who are doing the business, who had um, some goals that are being set. Basically, you enroll six people with 100 PV plus um, from April 1st to June 30th. You also have one of your friends that you've enrolled and helping them achieve the level of star. When that happens, you are going to get an invite to the soiree party. At, it's at an exclusive location that you usually have to be a member to get in and it is going to blow your socks off. It is the most beautiful location. They also are going to be doing the rink walks, which we love. Like I love to stand there and to cheer everyone on to see their smiles, to see their excitement and their energy and to know that all of their hard work is getting recognize is the best, best thing. So they're going to do all of those regular walks that they do during the general session. So you're going to get to see all of your silvers, golds, and platinums doing their thing on the stage. And then um, the new thing this year, which I'm really excited about, is they're going to be doing a pre-party. So any silver plus members who have been recognized in the last several years, I think it was from 2000. 19 um, on, they're going to be able, or they're going to get an invite to a pre-party. And that pre-party, they're going to go and there's going to be a lot of great things for them. And then there's the awards gala. The awards gala, we used to have to pay for, and it was for Diamond Plus members only, and or Diamond Plus ranks only. And this year, it is going to be open to all. Um, and then we get to go and we get to go and celebrate and we get to go and celebrate our Diamond Plus members who have worked so hard, who have accomplished so much. And so I encourage every single person to go to that. And I am so excited for you. You so have this. It's so awesome. Okay. And then, um, okay. Okay, here's some new things that they have for us and why it's so exciting. And these are some of the things that you're going to get to register for when it opens, okay? They are bringing back what's called the day spa. They used to have the spa that would come every year and they would do facials and raindrops. And this year they're bringing it back. And so we will get to go in and we will get to sign up if we want to take part in that. You might just find me there the whole time. So there's going to be regular massage, I believe, uh, raindrops. And I'm not sure if they're doing the facials, but... It's so exciting that they are bringing that experience back. There's also going to be the Seeds of Time, which is their store. There's going to be all kinds of really fun things for YL 30th anniversary in there. You never want to miss that because that is insanely awesome. Um, and then I already told you about the swag bag. And... Um, they are doing something very new. They've never done this before. So they're going to be doing something called tabletop conversations. And there's going to be over 40 different topics that we get to register for or that we get to take part in. And so you know your business. Again, you know what you need. And so you're going to get to go in and register for those topics that really excite you, that you really need in your business to help you grow your business. And so go in and make sure that you register for those. And then they're also going to have um, six other um, hands-on experiences. And so you're going to get to hear what those are shortly, and you'll get to go in and register for those as well. So these are the time. The biggest tips that I have for you are be open, be flexible, say yes to everything, 
Do not let a moment or an opportunity pass you by. Go in and take part in those tabletop opportunities. This is where you're going to get to sit around with like-minded people who are on the same journey. Um, and you're going to get to bounce ideas off of them. And same with them with you. And you're going to get to hear what each other's doing and what's working and what you're finding exciting and um, what's new and all of those things. So it's pretty incredible. Really, really incredible. Um, you're going to get to set goals together. You're going to get to um, just really spirit new ideas from one another, which I super love. Okay. They also are going to have a yoga um, opportunity for you, as well as um, a pickleball tournament on that Saturday. And so if you love pickleball, uh, I think that's incredible. You go for it. You go and you you be a part of that. That's going to be incredible. And then my favorite, my most favorite thing is the farm experience is going to be on Saturday. And and they are going to have um, the closing party after that. So normally what happens is there's different days where you get to go to the farm and then there's a closing party at a different location. I love that they're bringing it back home. They're bringing the rawness. They're bringing the heart of the company. They're bringing the energy. They're bringing all the things that we love into their one beautiful place, which is the Mona Farm. If you have never been there, please get your booty there because you are going to get to experience knowledge, new education that they don't ever have at the farm. They said they're bringing new education for us, new experiences. Go pet the horses. Go see um, all the different things that they have to uh, to offer there. You're going to get to experience the seed to sell process. You're going to watch distillations happen. You can go jump in the lavender fields. That's why we're doing it in July because the lavender is more uh, flourished. It's more potent. It's more grown and lush and beautiful. And go touch the goldenrod. Maybe not for too long. <laughs> go and enjoy um, all of the different plants that they have there. A lot of times they are distilling juniper or blue um, yarrow. Um, it's just really, really amazing. I think it's blue. Just yarrow. Um, okay. And then um, I just want to make sure that I have touched on everything. Okay. Okay, so um, that night they haven't told us for the closing party what is happening, but I will tell you it sounds pretty exciting. They are saying that they're going to release little tidbits in the coming weeks, and I love that. I cannot wait for that. Okay, the last part is that you being a convention attendee, you are going to have the first opportunity and the first people to step into the expo and to be able to touch and feel or taste or whatever they have to offer us this time, um, you're gonna be the first people to do that. You're gonna be there, you're gonna be with the education, you're gonna be able to learn hands-on, you're gonna be able to touch and try and smell and all that kind of stuff inside the expo. And that's the best piece to being there in person is that they always have things that are specific for convention attendees and just being there live, there is literally nothing like it. There's just nothing like it. Um, if you're a Diamond Plus member, as you know, you get to go in early. You get to explore the Diamond Preview Expo, which means you get first hands-on experience with all the things and learning all the things so that you can be a better advocate and better have a better knowledge of understanding when your teams come to you and need some assistance with those new products. So. I just, I encourage you all, just be open, be hungry. That is my word, be hungry. Be so fiercely hungry for newness, for new opportunities, for the energy, and go hug people. Go hug people. I pray that I get to meet you. If I've never met you, I pray that I get to meet you. My favorite thing is hugging people, and so, I hope that I have the opportunity to be able to do that. I hope that you have the opportunity to come to convention this year. I hope that if you can't, that you at least grab a virtual ticket. And if you can't do that, I pray that you put it on your bucket list and you make it happen for next year because you need to be there. The energy is explosive. And if you are doing this business 
if you, if this business is what you love to do and you love to share clean, great products, this is a, this should be a non-negotiable for you. This should be something that you look forward to every single year and that you just make happen. So my heart is with you. Thank you for letting me uh, share a little bit with you this morning. And I am just looking so forward to seeing so many of you at convention. One more month, friends. One more month.